Hello everyone, welcome back to another painting video. I hope you all are doing well. Today's video is a special one. This past summer, I had the amazing opportunity to travel to Japan. In this painting, I am working on a scene of the Itsukushima Jinja, or the Grand Tori of Miyajima, which is located in the Hiroshima Bay. This scene is from sunset, during high tide when the gate is partially submerged underwater. I began this painting with sketching in my composition in blue acrylic paint. This entire piece is made using acrylics. In this initial sketch stage, I blocked in the overall composition of the piece and adjusted the sketch as I continued to fill in the canvas. During this process, I'm not being super accurate, I'm just trying to get an overall layout for the piece. I chose to use acrylics for this because I really wanted to make something vibrant that captured the deep, rich colors of the sunset. I find with acrylics and gouache, my paintings feel lighter and more vibrant and saturated than with oil or watercolors. In the next stage, I worked on establishing major blocks of color. I tend to try to work from back to front first beginning with the sky and gradually working my way forward to the foreground. During this process, I continue to refine my overall shapes established by the initial sketch. I notice things that are off about the composition a lot easier once I've started to block in colors. Acrylic paint is very forgiving in this stage because I can easily paint over the dried areas if I decide I don't like the look of something. Traveling across Japan was magical. I spent a full day in Miyajima and was able to witness the Grand Tori Gate in both the morning and evening. When I first arrived to Miyajima, it was the morning and the tide was low. Throughout the day, the water gradually came in from the bay and by night it had completely submerged the shrine. As both a landscape painter and architectural designer, Itsukushima and Japan as a whole were an endless source of inspiration for my work. This piece is one of many I am painting about my time there. As this painting takes place during sunset, I focused a lot of my time on trying to capture the many colors of the sky and water. There were so many beautiful hues of yellow and pink that I tried to capture in this piece. The red-orange Tory gate was a beautiful contrast to these colors. The trickiest part of this painting was the water. As the tide rose, the water constantly moved in small waves into the inlet. The waves and their different hues took a lot of time to emerge from the painting. I tried to use as little black as possible in my work, so I relied heavily on using pure cerulean blue to create the darkest portions in the water. The only place I used paints gray black paint was in the mountains in the background. a small liner brush to paint in the Tory gate. As I prefer to sketch in my compositions with paint, I took my time refining and thickening the shape of the gate until I was happy with its placement. After adding in the gate, I took the same red hues and added it in the water to create the reflection.
For the final touches on this piece, I went in with pure white to add highlights to the shrine and lights from the city of Mazora across the bay. These final touches are my favorite moments of this piece. A few small highlights on the water and in the background really added to the final composition. And that is it for this painting process. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one really soon.